okay good morning dear students greetings of the day as we know that we have started our revision evaluation one will be there from the next month so as the preparation for the pre preparation that we are going to start a standard 5 revision long question and answers i hope that students uh, if you have the question bank that the uh, six or seven question that are there in the question bank so that and that we are going to explain it revise it in this present lecture in this present time in this present video online class so let's start okay so i am going to share the screen and once again i am going to explain it in very beautiful way answer will be there question will be there you have to prepare it very well we you have to revise it so you will get understand actually what we have discussed now i am going to share the screen so you will get understand okay let's start here p chandra international school board search first evaluation so this is the long question and answer and i am going to annotate it so you will get better understandings of all this question and answers okay here i am going to use this pen i am using this color red color first question it is here first question explain renewable and non renewable energy before that i am going to uh, ask uh, from which chapter this question is so i have taken chapter number 1 chapter number 2 and chapter number 5 so this question is chapter number 5 natural resources and i have given you examples which are the natural resources which are the renewable and non renewable resources energy okay so first question explain renewable and non renewable energy why i am sharing the screen because some of the students have suggested me before that that we were not able to see properly whatever the answer that i have written on the board on the green board because of this reflection of the light they were not able to see it. so it is the best way you will get every question you will get every answer in a full manner so watch this video carefully so you will get those who are absent in the online class for them it is very beneficial for them first question from chapter number 5 explain renewable and non renewable energy and the answer the resources which are given to us by the nature on the first on the beginning of this chapter my dear students what i have explained with you is that uh, about uh, just observe in your surrounding area observe the nature lots of things are there so the resources which is given to us by the nature are called the natural resources and the examples are there on your screen right now air land water forest animals plant life sun fossil fuel etc okay i am going to you uh, give you okay which are the natural resources air land water forests animals plant life <coughs> sorry sun fossil fuel etc then which are the other some of the examples of the natural resources natural energy it is there so different between renewable and non renewable resources which are the major difference okay let's have a look on it renewable resources so they can be produce again and again we can use it can be used again and again so this is the first 
characteristics features of renewable resources so it can be produce again it can be used again and again they are inexhaustible never finished never complete that is called inexhaustible example wind sunlight water these are the just for the examples dear students wind that are flowing that we don't know from where it is coming from which direction it is coming and which direction it is going but we are using it wind blowing the wind we are generating the energy wind farm wind mills that you have seen it in some of the areas of saurashtra in some of the parts of the world the big fans and they are generating electricity from the wind from the wind farm from the wind mills sunlight solar system sunlight that we are getting every day vitamin d that we are getting from sun law sunlight and solar system generating electricity that is there on the roof on the top of the mountains on the top of the house on the terrace and right now we are also able to see is in the far farms and water dams generating electricity okay so they are inexhaustible inexhaustible never complete we can use it again and again okay rain sunlight water second one resources is energy is non renewable resources so they cannot replenish we cannot use it again once it is complete once in it, it is finished we cannot use it again replenish it once they are used up it takes a very very long time to replace them they are existible existible means we can easily complete finish after some time it can be extinct example which are the examples are there oil coal copper diamonds natural gas minerals iron ores gold silver rocks and fossil fuels so these are the various examples of it okay so they cannot be replenished you cannot generate it once it will finish once it is complete you cannot generate it you cannot reuse it and that's why it is called the non renewable resources or energy now let's go let's move further okay second question second question now it is the right the uses of natural resources uses of natural resources second question natural resources are used in industries and factories for the growth and development okay it is used in industries also in the farms factories for the growth and development and for running machines if you have visited my dear students different uh, industry different factories so it is impossible to do it dear students okay for the water we cannot imagine the life without the water so water is the natural resources wind is the natural resources sunlight is the natural resources so we cannot imagine our life without it yes or no yes my dear students so we can run a uh, running machine gadgets then vehicles they are used in our day to day life example vegetables salt wood paper etc i am going to underline it vegetables salt wood paper etc water from rivers is used to produce electricity 
if you have visited narmada dam sardar sarovar dam in south gujarat in narmada district now the monsoon season will be there so just watch the news on the television and you will there see you will be heard you will be heard that news about the dam is overflowing about the 133 meters above 137 meters above overflowing the dam so whenever there is overflowing the dam the generator is generating that electricity from this flowing water okay so how so in this way these are the uh, different manners in this way we can use the natural resources now let's move to question number 3 Question number three. Write three ways in which you can help. So that we have discussed. Again, I am going to share the screen. Okay. Now, question number three. Write three ways in which you can help to conserve natural resources. Let's start. Okay, here you can see it. I am going to first of all note it so you will better understand. Write the three ways in which you can help to conserve natural resources. First, we can conserve our natural resources by reducing our trips by car and encouraging car pulling. cycling or taking a public transport first very very most important okay first one is reducing our trips right now corona pandemic is going on so we have stopped to move from here and there uh, before 2009 before the corona virus whenever saturday sunday is there whenever the first weekends are there whenever the vacation will be there what we have done let's go to this place let's go to hill station let's go to pavagad ambaji statue of unity okay other places temples that we have visited mountain forest hill station some of the scientific places that we have gone visited before 2019 but because of this pandemic we are not able to do that because we have to maintain social distancing now reducing our car trips okay if you are going by bus then it will be easy to reduce the pollution cycling or taking a public transport whatever the work you have right now at your home if you have a cycle then use the bicycle to bring some of the grocery items food things use the cycle and if you have more time then you should go by walk you should walk it's a good decision it's good for your health for your mental health and also good for the nature for your surrounding nature then use the public transport instead of using car if you are going job if your parents okay right now you are a student so you are going by rickshaw by auto by bus to reach school but those who are coming alone so they have to manage by themselves use the public transport by reducing consumption and wastage of electricity and water we are using excessive use of electricity when there is no need just put up right now there are three fans are there in my room in this classroom but i am using only one fan and one light for the proper light so you can see me properly okay and fan that i am using everything is turned off and the atmosphere is very cool cool means average temperature it is there so i have turned off all the switches right now so i am saving the electricity and water whenever there is no need no need turn off the tap 
okay reducing wastage of paper no there when there is no need don't waste the paper so in this way you can help to conserve our natural resources okay next question my dear students let's move next question what is the importance of natural resources importance of natural resources natural resources are important because industries and factories depend them for the growth as we have discussed growth development and functioning most of the things that we use in our daily life are derived from natural resources wind sunlight water okay milk the water then air fruits vegetables fuel sector we use water from rivers to make electricity solar energy used for number of activities like running cars and cooking everything so these are the various uses if you want to write just pause the video and write it down all the important topics okay next question very easy to understand from chapter number 2 draw a diagram and label to show the important parallel of latitude okay important latitude and longitude it is here you can see prime meridian arctic circle tropic of cancer equator 0 degree tropic of capricorn i am going to show okay latitude or parallels this line parallels parallels here okay important parallels first one is arctic circle it is here 66.34 or 66.5 arctic circle in north is situated in north pole northern hemisphere okay first second one is 23.5 or 23.26 north latitude okay tropic of cancer then next one is here equator 0 degree you can see it here equator 0 degree passing through from the middle of the earth then in the southern hemisphere we have tropic of capricorn 23.5 south because it is situated in southern hemisphere the next one is antarctic circle okay it is also situated in the southern hemisphere it is the south pole it is here so these are the important parallels latitudes of the earth very easy you have to draw suppose the question that would be asked by the teacher you have to draw it the globe and as well as this important longitude and latitudes only latitudes the important very important my dear students i hope that you are getting what we are discussing right now okay let's start move further next question right how humans human activities are depleting natural resources depleting spoiling as we know that my dear students natural resources are being overused and that's why we are facing lots of problem right now by human beings by for our selfish nature for their own selfish needs desires we have water resources are being depleted with increasing industrialization because of the globalization extending cities are extending outside of the city they are extending they are expanding expanded their boundaries population explosion 1.4 billion people are staying in india what would be the situation air and land resources are being affected okay you can see it popular explosion air and land resources are being affected because of these two factors 
smoke from the chimneys smoke from the chimneys my dear students we have seen it ahmedabad baroda surat ankleshwar anand vidyanagar not able to breathe properly dump the land and polluting the land and water air they are polluting we are they are polluting my dear students many vehicles on road just see the traffic on the road nowadays quality of the air is totally decreasing making on the algae and yes we are building many factories mills but dumping the waste products from them on the land and polluting the water bodies the smoke from these factories are polluting the air we are making our cities and towns the jungles concrete of with no place of our trees and parks radiation from mobile phone towers they are affecting our health affecting the animal life bird life too much use of fertilizers in the farming okay leads to soil pollution so in this way we are polluting our environment we are polluted everything soil land water air ozone layer everything is it are depleting desire for our selfish nature for our modernization in the name of the modernization in the name of industrialization in the name of the 21st century we have polluted we have extincted lots of things from this earth we have depleting spoiling this natural resources by the different way okay i hope that students that we have completed this six question and i hope that you have written pause it and write it down in your notebook so you will get understand about the globe about the all the answers diagram able to show important parallels of latitudes importance of natural resources okay conserve how to conserve use of natural resources and renewable and non renewable energy or the resources that we have completed okay so as we have done it all the question and answers if you have any doubt any question any queries just uh, give me the message on my whatsapp and i will try my best to solve it thank you so much have a nice day bye